Hello, Jonathan Porterfield again. Another great Nissan Leaf. This is uh, on a 63 plate. It's the Ascenta. It's a standard 3.3. It's a 24 kilowatt hour. And it looks rather nice in this silver. Registered the 20th of December 2013. And uh, it's got full service history. It's a really nice clean example. We have a granny cable here. I will also include a type 1 to type 2 cable for the um, basically the fast chargers and this also of course rapid charges it's the UK built a center so you get the reversing camera rear wash wipe it's had the last one was a lady she'd had it for most of its life um, it's very very clean three rear seat belts three rear headrests some proper Nissan overmats in all four footwells door cars are beautifully clean really is a lovely example very popular there's no doubt if you're watching this video you will know about so leaf over mats in all four footwells too so here we are inside the leaf so as you heard the beeping that's just telling me the car is running <laughs> there's the miles 19,951 833.9 miles of which I've done I've driven this up from Leicester up to uh, Orkney just scrolling around on the menu show you lots of averages uh, there's my average energy economy which is four but at one point uh, doing a steady run up here up to um, Orkney via John O'Groats I was averaging 4.3 miles per, per kilowatt hour so the battery is absolutely spot on there's the percentage there's the gasometer meter range etc so we have uh, CD goes in the top pop it in there this is the information screen, lots to show you, but basically there's lots of functions. Um, charging timer, I've set it to start charging at 4.40am uh, when my cheat rate starts every day. You can also program in a climate control timer, basically means you can set the heater to come on before you go to work. Um, it will also connect to information centre, connect to information centre and do any updates uh, with regard to public charging stations and that's done by uh, basically the internet talking to Nissan I don't think there's any more stations let's just see what it says there. there's no new stations in the area because I did this a few days ago FM, AM, uh, CD, auxiliary inputs auxiliary input is by a USB just here and also a jack here so lots of connectivity the heater works really well this is the heat pump so it heats up extremely quickly and you hardly you lose any range uh, from cold everything works exactly as it should of course when you want to engage reverse this is the gear stick so it's in P for park and that's denoted by P on the dashboard you see the P just there so with your foot on the brake you move it across and up and let go it always flicks back to this position and then you get a beautiful reversing camera that's the rear bumper really really useful and to engage drive I'll just show you the screen you pull it across and down and obviously it goes back to its default setting which is the sat nav then I usually leave it on the energy setting two keys just detects the key is here we have uh, uh, inputs here for the sound system change the source uh, volume Bluetooth uh, with voice activation, cruise control, speed limiter, eco button. All of these things I can show you when you come to look at the car. Electric windows all round, power folding, wing mirrors as well. Yeah, really is a cracking Nissan Leaf. And just to show you, the locking wheel nut key is present. And it's here, as is the rear tow eye. And all the books and all the manuals that came with the car when it was new are here. So the sat nav manual, the uh, user manual and everything else that should be here. Along with its service history, both done at uh, Nissan Leicester. First was done on, uh, where are we, 9,000 miles major. And the minor service was last done the 9th of February this year at 16,000 miles. It's now showing 19,000 miles so the next one will be with a brake fluid change as well as that so around about 
£160 for its next service, so it's extremely cheap servicing on an electric vehicle. Extremely cheap. Why? Well, the change of pollen filter, check the brakes, check the tyres, and that is it. V5 is here, registered the 20th of December 2013, and it is also MOT till February, but we will re MOT it before it goes out as well. And it's had, let me just show you its previous keepers. It's had one previous key keeper, which was Nissan Bolton. So uh, you'll be down as the third keeper. So it's a demonstrator sold to this lady in Leicester and then we bought it. So you'll be down as the third keeper. So before I walk you around this leaf, I'll take you for a short test drive. So welcome to the test drive. Put my foot on the brake, press the power button. You can change that jingle. There's about three different jingles or you can have no jingle at all. The car is on so with my foot on the brake there's like a foot handbrake which you press and release to take off and you pull the lever across and down to engage the drive and away you go the screen always defaults this uh, telematics disclaimer so basically sending you're happy for Nissan to know the details about your car so you press ok goes to sat nav press the blue button press energy information and gives you what you need to know about the estimated range and I have to emphasize it's estimated it's commonly referred to as a gasometer and the reason being that the car will take readings from how it's being driven as to how far you'll get with the current level of battery power in the car so when doing long drives in this 24 kilowatt hour leaf um, at the moment it's showing 93 percent so with care um, driving us around 50 to 55 I can get one mile per one percent so um, for sure stop start journeys like any vehicle it's less economical so at the minute the gasometer is showing 79 miles with 92 percent all perfectly normal that range you'll get will actually alter whether you're going up a hill or down a hill accelerating hard or regenerating energy which actually actually adds miles to your range this particular leaf drives absolutely spot on, steering's looking really straight, doesn't make any undue noises. And if you're here on Orkney then CS Omand Conrad in Stromness services EVs. He is Nissan and Renault approved to do any warranty work, which is an extremely rare occurrence. The only thing I ever I have ever have to do, I can spit out my words, is replace the key fob batteries in there, which cost about £1.50. So uh, after about, because these are constantly sending out a signal, after about three years you need to replace the batteries in there, which takes about 15 seconds to do. So like I said, drives very straight. Um, servicing costs, as I mentioned earlier, extremely cheap. It's a pollen filter, check the brakes, check the tyres, give you some screen wash. That's it. No oil, no cam belts, no spark plugs. No diesel particulate filters, no exhaust system, the list just goes on. You've also got a B setting, which is for extra engine braking. I'm going to turn in this junction, I haven't touched the brakes yet. Last few metres, squeeze the brake and pull it round. Good turning circle. And there we go. So, they really are great. You've probably seen some of my other videos. They sound exactly the same as Nissan Leaf. Um, probably because there's so few moving parts, they all tend to sound identical. So that concludes the test drive. So when you come off the accelerator, going down a slight hill, I'll put it into B. It slows down even more. I'm not touching the brakes. What I'm doing, I'm harvesting energy to push it back into the battery. I'm pulling just over 10 kilowatts of energy stop here squeeze the brake for like the last five meters which of course means the brake pads actually last a lot longer so that concludes the uh, test drive I'll take you now for a final walk around this great leaf so welcome back from the test drive so I'll go around all four tires so we have a tire on the front with oh I'd say six millimeters it's a very recent tire 
the uh, discs are fine and some slight scuff light scuffing to the alloy wheel but nothing to be serious about nothing to be worried about wing mirrors are fine there's a minor mark on the driver's door which would be really really picky rear tyre is a Michelin lots of tread on that again the alloy wheel on there is perfect actually any marks there's a tiny chip there that was touching easy um, rear tyre again perfect another Michelin on the back and on the front we have a Michelin and I'd say that's about four four millimeters and again showing some previous repair to the alloy that's just from curbing but they look very very clean and the front's chip free really is a clean little car windscreen is chip free too we won't have this for long it's here with me on Orkney but if you're not in Orkney and you're watching this in your south do not despair and we supply a lot of these to order I have my friend and colleague work colleague James of James and Kate and uh, he will source cars on my behalf and deliver them to you and he lives in Leicestershire so uh, if you're interested look up James channel James and Kate on YouTube he does some brilliant videos for me and for himself as well so that concludes the video hope you've enjoyed watching it and look forward to speaking to you soon